everyone and welcome to a beautiful day in England. Today is the 7th of August 2020 and as you can see very unlike England it's very very beautiful. The weather is probably about 80 degrees and uh, everyone's out and about. So I decided to take a walk outside my neighborhood and uh, you know do some recording for you because I haven't posted anything in a while and uh, while I'm out here I uh, just thought this might be something of interest to you so I happen to be in the suburbs not too far from where I live and uh, I just thought I should show you what um, the neighborhood looks like during the summer on a sunny day and uh, here we go so uh, most of the houses here are big houses I don't like using the word mansion because someone did say you know the houses here don't really look like mansions and if you really really have um, been to some parts of the world um, I think I do agree I would say big houses because the architectural structure out here in England is different from uh, anywhere else in the world but uh, enjoy the view so these signs were put up here to thank key workers who've taken care of people during the pandemic and uh, this neighborhood happens to be a very very quiet neighborhood and uh, yeah there's a lot of um, learner drivers around this area because it's very quiet and I guess because most of the roads around this area are like this driving instructors usually give my students as well so that they can navigate traffic and learn the rules of the road so yeah, there are more houses. This really is a very quiet neighborhood, mostly residential. And uh, Owning a property here would set you back a few hundreds of uh, thousands of pounds. So, most of the houses are numbered like so, and uh, the fences are um, made out of brick, as you can see, with uh, not too high gates for protection. Some of the houses are hidden behind um, hedges, as you can see. There's hardly that much foot traffic because people are either indoors or at work. So you hardly see people around, especially at this time of the, the day. But uh, other than that, every now and then, you know, there's odd person goes by to the main road to buy milk or sugar or what have you and uh, yeah this is generally what this neighborhood looks like would anyone consider living in this area leave your comments in the comment section below has anyone ever been to the side of England this is a suburb by the way, I think I mentioned that to begin with and uh, it's usually very quiet. See that's another gate leading into this house. But yeah generally this is what this neighborhood looks like, it's very quiet, peaceful and uh, it's a beautiful day as well to showcase the neighborhood yeah and also that sign over there indicates that there's um roadworks every now and then to make sure everything is clean and nice so that's what that's, that sign there is for oh yeah the odd one person did go by <laughs> bit of foot traffic so yeah
So how's everyone doing? I hope everyone's managing to stay safe and I hope you're continuing to wash your hands and wear those face masks where necessary. I am trying my best to stay healthy and practice social distancing and I hope you're doing the same thing as well because we haven't been given the okay here yet so we have to do what we can to stay healthy. So yeah, leave your comments in the comment section below. What do you think about this neighborhood? Do you like it? Do you think the roads are too narrow? Would you live in an area like this? And uh, just generally leave your comments and that stuff. And also right across the road over there, that red box there is a postal box where you can drop your letters and a postman is sure to pick them up in the morning. So things are kind of picking up right now. It looks like um, it might be lunchtime or thereabout for some people around this area. I'm not sure. But for some reason, there's a lot of traffic. And also, as a pointer, right ahead down the slope is a shopping complex. So that might be one of the reasons why there's uh, heavy traffic at this time of the day here. Yeah. So if you're a viewer from anywhere in the world, have you ever been to England? What was your experience like? Did you like it? Which area did you stay? Leave your comments in the comment section below. And uh, what do you think of uh, the Brits as a whole? I'm a global citizen, so <laughs> I won't put myself in a box. So leave your comments in the comment section below. So on every road in England there are signs for traffic. So that arrow is pointing towards um, the left hand side of um, where I am. And that means the driver should keep to the left hand side. Because in England the road, you drive on the other side of the road, unlike other places. So yeah, this is what some of the houses look like right there detached houses that's what they're called and here's another neighborhood right here and uh, that extends all the way down to god knows where so this area is the cul-de-sac and i'm not going to go into the cul-de-sac but that's the way how the sign is is done out here by the edge of the road so, does this place remind anyone watching of anywhere in particular? Leave your comments in the comment section below. And uh, what do you think of the weather? This is not typical British weather, but this is summertime and uh, the sun is out. In full. So, people are taking advantage of the sun. And this is what some of the houses look like. And uh, this is a fairly modern house right here. The bricks are relatively new because most of the houses built here are brick houses. But the architectural structure are quite different from olden day houses. And the bricks are different compared to the olden day bricks. So everything is kept neat around this area as is expected and around most areas in England and this is a bin for waste disposal and right across the road over there is one for the residence that house over there so let me show you right there and it has a number on it to indicate what house it is for or what flat it is for because some of the houses here are divided into flats as well like most of the houses in uh, England unless you have a deep pocket and are able to buy a mansion or a big house
most people in England are so particular about privacy and that's probably one of the reasons why you hardly see people vlogging but uh, the other one or two people do it and uh, that way you get to see what certain areas in England are like as I am doing right now So much construction going on, construction, renovation, structuring, and that's because the population in England is growing every day, um, so people have to be housed. Because of that, former houses are being converted into flats, and that's why there's so much um, construction going on. It's not beauty. And so much greenery as well and flowers and bloom. So further down the road is uh, the way to a huge shopping mall and I'll be heading there but uh, pending that time I hope you've enjoyed this mini vlog and uh, just leave your comments in the comment section below hope you enjoyed it and what else would you like to see so thank you so much for watching kindly subscribe and I'll see you later and nice.